Hi guys, today's video is going to be a much smaller video than I anticipated. I wanted to do one massive declutter video until I got into my collection and realised how huge it actually was. I thought I'd been quite good. I've been really diligent with decluttering ahead of moves and we've moved a couple of times in the past couple of years. Um, I don't know, I think that in certain sections of my makeup I've done pretty well for a blogger. Um, they, I can definitely bring it down to less than I've got but I, I felt like it wasn't that bad. Lipstick. Lipstick is my downfall. We're not even getting into nail polish. I don't even think that's going to be something I talk about because that, that in itself is crazy as well. But lipstick. Lipstick is the thing that I really struggle with. And so when I got into everything, I thought this is going to have to be a separate video. Once I started filming it, I thought this is going to have to be split up into separate videos. So today's video is going to be liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, crayons and stains. All of that stuff. Hopefully the next one will be lipsticks and lip liners and that will be a much longer video but I felt like the two together was just insane so today I'm gonna do just that kind of those few categories that I felt like um were everything but lip liners and lipstick I think I did a pretty good job of getting rid of quite a few things I'm hoping to do an even better job with lipstick because that is a way bigger section of my makeup um but yeah, I have been quite detailed in um, everything that I've got rid of, which is why I really couldn't condense it, because the last time I did something like this, lots of people asked, um, or wished, which you can't go back in time, wished that I'd done uh, more swatches and a little bit more of an in-depth look at everything. So this time I did that, swatched everything, and hopefully that is useful for you and uh, a little bit more um, informative than my previous ones that I've done. But without further ado, let's get into the craziness that is gonna be this video. Let's start with balms because they are the least exciting and so I'm hoping I will be able to get rid of them a little bit easier, maybe? I actually think I have more than one of these, I don't know where the other one went, but I'm getting rid of it. This is the um, Tinted Lip Conditioner from MAC. I used to have one in pink, oh this is the pink one, yeah. that just goes to show it's pink on the inside, it's not pink on the sides anymore. This is definitely past its best. I haven't reached for it a really long time. The idea of having to kind of put my finger in it to use it on the go, I just never use it. Um, the baby lips, I'm not super keen on. Um, this is actually a mini tinted lip thing, but again, never ever reach for it. So that's going, although I really like the original sugar lip treatment. Um, this is quite new. I'm keeping this. I'm actually wearing this right now because I just picked it up and thought, yes, need this on my lips immediately. It is the Urban Decay Lip Love and it's got kind of a slight minty tingle to it, but it smells like coconut. Amazing. So I'm going to keep that. Um, these two are lip oils. I've got the W7 Tinted Kiss and the one from Asda, the George Tint and Pout. Like them both. I've probably had this one for longer, but I prefer it. So I'm gonna keep this one. These two, it's really tricky because I know I've had these probably for longer than I should have had. But I'm gonna get rid of this one because the pink I prefer. I wanna keep one of them. Um, and this one is quite new. I got this this year. However, I think I got it in May time when we went to Las Vegas. Um, and I absolutely loved it. I was kind of saving it, not wanting to use it all the time because it was quite expensive for a lip treatment. But it's got this kind of buffy end um, on one side and then obviously you twist it up and the actual lip conditioner comes out. However, it smells really weird. It turned really, really quickly. So although I kind of want to buy it again, it didn't last very long. This is going to be really, really difficult. The liquid lips. <laughs> I don't really think I thought this through. I feel like I'm going to have to film this over several days uh, at this point because <laughs> This is a lot of stuff uh, and liquid lips are the things that I feel like I'm going to be really, really struggling with. So I've tried to put everything in colour order so we'll swatch and I will decide which formulas I prefer. I'm hoping to half what I've got. I know I'm getting rid of this because it is way, way, way too dark for me. That is the colour. It doesn't maybe look quite so dark on camera, but it is super, super dark and that is NYX Teddy. I think this could fall under the same category, however... It's a lot warmer. If you see them together, I think you will understand what I'm saying. Much, much more wearable, and especially in this season, I'm gonna keep this one. That is Lolita from Kat Von D. This is the Freedom Pro Melts in Bare. 
Um, I'm tempted by this because they mix really well. It's like a hybrid between a very opaque gloss and um, a liquid lip. It kind of dries down to a satin finish. I really like them, but I only want to keep one of the ones that I've got, and I think I have my eye on this one. This is the Makeup Revolution Lip Kit in Noble. Well, it's not the lip kit, it's the lipstick that comes with the lip kit. It comes with the lip liner and then this as well. And I didn't particularly love the formulas of these. And this one definitely was not the shade that I preferred. This is Echelon. I'm going to hold on to that one for a minute until I've swatched the last one. This is the Velvet Kiss from Collection in Caramel 2. They are actually super similar and I'm going to keep the one from Collection because I prefer the formula. That's the Kat Von D in Noble. Now it's definitely too pale for me but I've been really enjoying using this to blend out and do kind of a 3D lip. So I'm going to put this to one side and that might be kind of like something that I test out over the next week and decide if I keep. This I'm really disappointed by. This is the Stila Angelo. Um, and in theory, swatch doesn't look that pale, but it looks insanely pale on my lips. So I'm going to hand that on to someone else. I mean, you can see this is kind of as pale as I like to go. This is Alyssa by Colourpop and this is the Ultra Satin Lip Colour. I love this one so much and it's considerably deeper than that one. This is Rain from Makeup Revolution. I'm going to keep hold of that one because I've got rid of the other two and I prefer that colour. I don't think I've used it yet as well. This is Colourpop in Solo. Again, haven't really given it as much of a go as I would like. Um, I don't love the Ultra Mattes, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it for now. That is NYX Tokyo. No idea what possessed me to buy this. Just like super crazy Barbie pink, not me at all. These are two of the Freedom Pro Melts as well. This one is, I think, up, um, which used to be my absolute favourite when I had super blonde hair, but again, just not my colour at all now. And this one, remind myself, exposed. I'm going to keep this one. I have an Essence Matte Matte Matte. Now, I think I'm going to keep this purely because... I know I haven't tried this one out yet. I was actually looking for, I had two, and I was looking for them the other day to swatch them for my blog. Couldn't find them in amongst the craziness that was all the liquid lipsticks. So I'm going to hold on to that for now, just for review, but just swatching on my arm, have a feeling that's going to be going to. This is Bourjois Nudist, one of my most worn. I'm going to keep that one. The I Heart Makeup Lip Lava is basically the same formula as the, um... What did I just say? The melts? Oh, this is so old. I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, and I think this was basically the same colour as Up. So, once upon a time, another favourite of mine, but just not for right now. This is Collection Cream Puff in Cotton Candy. I'm pretty sure these are different now. Are they called Cream Puff now? I feel like the packaging has changed. So, this is probably so old, um, it should have gone anyway, but I'm fairly certain the colour used to be different to that. Do you know, I thought these were going to be identical. This is NYX Antwerp. And um, what was this called? Peach? It was the Matte Factor from Miners. Do you remember how much I loved these? I love them so much. I thought they were going to be absolutely identical. Number one, the, the colours are similar, but they're not quite as identical as I thought. That's a little bit peachier. Also, the matte is so much nicer in formula. I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to get rid of the NYX. I don't know how old they are, but it smells fine. I was going to say it smells good. Eh, it's vanilla, but it smells good. It smells fine, and I do actually way prefer the way it feels. Moving on to reds, um, I probably, this is probably my smallest part of my liquid lip collection and you would think otherwise because red makes sense for liquid lip, right? But I just don't wear red very often. Um, I'm already struggling with kind of stains on my arm so I dread to think what's going to happen after this. This is a rouge infusion. I think this is like a supposed to be a stain from Sephora. It says red essence on the cap. Not feeling that. The Maybelline Vivid Matte in Orange Shot. No. I like the colour, but the formula of this was not my cup of tea. It bled, it wasn't ever matte, I didn't really understand it. American Doll by Anastasia. This, I think I've only worn once or twice, and I didn't love it. I'm going to keep it, because I want to try it again as it's kind of getting to Christmas time. I know it's September, but let's face it, it's getting to Christmas time. Um, but I wasn't massively impressed, first impression, so we'll see. But mm, I'm keeping it for now. Hot Pepper from Bourjois. I'm not sure about that one. Now I've swatched it next to the Super Opaque Anastasia one. Not entirely sure I want to keep that. It looks a little bit kind of blah, doesn't it? I think I'm going to get rid of that one. This is Cherry Leaders, and this was the Souffle de Velvet. This is kind of like a sheer matte. Do not understand. I thought maybe, but no, definitely getting rid of that one. Two Kat Von D's. This one is, uh, this one's Outlaw, and I think, is it Santa Sang Sangre? Sangre? I don't know. Um, is it like blood? I can't remember. Um, I kind of thought when I had them both together, they're kind of the same colour. This is crazy, I don't need both of them. But I actually way, way prefer Outlaw. It's a much more blue red. 
and I think I'm going to get rid of the other one. This one is the Chanel Rouge Allure Ink in Luxuriant. I have never been more disappointed in any makeup product, quite possibly. That was a terrible, terrible lip product. I am going to get rid of that. I've held onto it since last Christmas, hoping that I'd wear it again, but I really, really didn't like it. I have the uh, Collection Velvet Kiss in Rosy 3. Haven't even opened this one yet. I probably bought it to swatch with others and then forgot. Uh, and I have no means of opening this right now, so I'm just going to put it in the keep pile and we'll see. This is the Sephora Lip Stain in 03. And again, I've hardly ever used this one, but my friend Lex tells me they are the best of the best when it comes to liquid lips, so I'm going to hold on to it. Clinique Ripe Pop. Again, I felt like this was a little bit like the Bourjois one, but now it's swatched a bit better. I'm going to give it another go. And the last two, I've got the Urban Decay Vice in Trist. Hate that so much, that is going in the pile. In fact, I may start a disappointing products pile. Uh, I did a whole video talking about that. And then the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in... SMLC? Oh, Manila. No, soft matte lip cream. Uh, Manila. Really like that. Keeping it. We're moving into the kind of pinks to plums to reds to whatever. I kind of felt like this was the gradient that I could find. So, um, Essence Matte Matte Matte, another one. And this one is Ready, Set, Impress. When I swatch these, they kind of feel like they're trying to be the bourgeois one, but they're a little bit thicker, not quite as blendable. Um, I'm not loving them, but like I say, I'm keeping hold of them for that swatch post. I used to really, really like this. It's an MUA Intense Kisses, uh, and it's in Kiss and Tell. Um, but it smells a little bit funky, and I've had it for a really long time, so it's going. The Freedom Pro Mel in Drama. Uh, again, I don't reach for these all that often because they are more gloss than they are matte, and so I'm going to get rid of that one too. Bourgeois Ole Flamingo, I am keeping. This Too Faced Melted Matte in It's Happening is another one of those ones that I purchased and then barely wore. I actually put this on yesterday when I was organising a lot of my makeup and I was surprised at how well it wore. Very, very similar to the Kat Von D, so I'm keeping that, although it is a bit of a non-me colour. We'll see over the colder months if I reach for these bright pinks, probably not. Same with this new one from Colourpop, it's called Mars. Um, it's slightly, slightly warmer than the Too Faced, so I feel like I can justify keeping them both, but I've barely worn it. So I feel like there'll be another one of these in January where we get rid of the ones that I'm actually not wearing. Do you remember when Apocalypse were massive? That's when I bought this. Um, and this one is Apocalyptic. I'm going to get rid of it because I actually much prefer the velvet one, which is, what is this colour? Meteoric Matte. Um, and I really, really liked this. But again, I haven't reached for it for a really long time. I'm going to put this one in my collection because I remember being really, really into it. My memory card ran out of um, space and I had no idea. So whatever I was saying, hopefully we got up to um, the matte one of this I was keeping, but I wasn't keeping the glossy one. And that was the apocalypse matte thing. So yeah, these, I got another one of these, which is called Blackberry. I think I must have purchased all of the autumn colours last year and then just no, never actually got around to blogging about them. So I'm going to put that in my pile as well. Um, I do like the formulas of these. This one is Mulberry. I like the kind of texture. They're very, very silicone-y kind of smooth. Um, I like them, and especially over a lip liner. They're very, very comfortable. Then we've got some from B, which you haven't tried yet, so they're going in the keep pile. This one is Ravenous. And this one's Frolicked. Actually, Frolicked, I'm going to put in the to-go pile because that is one of those colours that I really don't wear, that kind of orchid purpley pink. Same with this really, this is the Kat Von D um, Backstage Bambi. I bought this, I swatched it, I intentionally bought this crazy pink um, and when I had very very blonde hair I was really into it, I'm just not so into that anymore. Oh, I, do I get rid of it? It is different to the other ones that I've got, it is a very kind of blue toned pink but I think I'm going to get rid of that one. And this uh, Too Faced Melted in Melted Fuchsia. I'm getting rid of this for two reasons. One, I'm not super keen on the very, very glossy formula of these. Two, I've had it forever and it doesn't look like it's quite the same consistency it used to be. If you can hear a funny noise in the background, I have a very snorry pug in uh, the room with me today. This is my kind of the rest collection. So this is either lip glosses or um, things I feel like can't be categorized as the liquid lipsticks that we've just talked about. 
first and foremost, I'm not necessarily going to go through and swatch all of these, but first and foremost, these are going. These are like metallic liquid lipsticks from Primark. I never enjoyed these, so they are going straight away. These from Lancome, they are those juicy shakers that I talked about, where you shake them up and you can get a, a more opaque kind of liquid lip thing. Um, or you can like blend it out and look at uh, more like a bitten type thing. I quite like these, so I'm going to keep them for now, but we'll see whether or not I continue to use them because they've been very, very sparely used, or sparingly used rather. Uh, lip gloss wise, now I've kept hold of this one because I really don't wear lip gloss very often. I've kept hold of this one, which is Supernatural from Revlon for a really, really long time because it is so beautiful and just so easy to wear such a gorgeous just like a nice little neutral however like you say i've had it forever maybe it's time because i haven't even opened this one to let this one be its replacement because very very similar not as much color but i think maybe i'm gonna get rid of oh i can't i can't i'm gonna replace this and i will get rid of the old bottle i promise or tube um but i can't get rid of this i love it so much and i'm gonna keep this one as well nars i thought this was gonna be a liquid lip but it's not I ended up loving it anyway. This is <laughs> Velvet Lip Glide. There's nothing velvet about this. It is basically just a lip gloss, but it's beautiful. And this is bound. I know I said I was not gonna swatch everything and now I'm gonna swatch it anyway. It's kind of, I suppose, as I'm swatching it, kind of like a liquid lip gloss, liquid lipstick rather, but it's really, really not. It is a lip gloss um, and I love it, especially the color. So that is definitely a keep. These, um, this is Laura Mercier and this is not particularly neutral. Well, it is neutral, but it's a bit deep on me. This is called Blush. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Uh, this I'm gonna get rid of because I never use it. It's the 3D Plumping Sparkly Lip Gloss from Avon. And I'm afraid I'm keeping these for crazy reasons. This is something you can't get anymore. This is a really old school Urban Decay lip gloss. Can you remember this? It's just the craziest thing. I loved it. And I think it was called a pocket. Oh yeah, pocket rocket. So I'm keeping it. I'm never going to use it. And it always smelled horrible. I used to work for Urban Decay a long time ago. And I remember just thinking, these smell terrible. Um, and so it would be difficult to know whether or not it had gone off anyway. But I'm definitely not using it. The colour, in case anyone's wondering. Oh, it says, rub me for your pheromone fix. Um, is Julio. I love this. And then this. I bet nobody recognises this. In fact, I'm not even going to say anything. And if anyone can tell me where this is from, I will be so impressed. This is the Dessert Beauty line. I have decided to branch out slightly into crayons. And I also have some kind of lip stains as well from YSL that we'll talk about in a second. But I think this is going to be the longest video ever if I end up going into lipsticks as well. So... We're gonna do liquid lipsticks and crayons in this video. So I'm not gonna swatch absolutely everything, but I'm gonna maybe make my cuts and then swatch what I've decided to keep. I know that people go crazy for these NARS lip pencils, but I'm not really a fan, so I'm gonna give them to somebody that's gonna appreciate them far more than I am, because like I say, I'm just not into it. This Lord & Berry one, again, the same. Um, the one from Tarte Flush, I never reach for, or I think this is maybe called Flush. Anyway, the one from Tarte, never ever reach for that one. The baby lips, they're gonna go. These I've kept for so long. In fact, I'm gonna keep one of them for the same reason that I've kept the other two that I just showed you, crazy reasons. Um, Jane from British Beauty Blogger, she made a collection with uh, Marks and Spencers a few years ago, and this was my absolute favorite. It is called Selfie, which I only discovered the other day uh, when I was clearing some stuff up. I never knew what it was called. It was a beautiful, I'll swatch it for you, a beautiful kind of corally and a gorgeous formula. I loved this, I wore this so much and it smells absolutely fine. I probably would be still totally prepared to wear that again, but I loved that so much, so I'm gonna keep it. I did already do a big purge of makeup before we moved in December, um, and so I had tons of these, and now I only have two, and I'm gonna keep both of them because I love them. This is called In With Coral. Oh my goodness, that's like almost totally worn down. Um, and it's still a really nice creamy texture. And then this one is Keep it classy. Love. I am taking that one away. I didn't like the collection formula as much as the Revlon. I think I'm just left with Revlon now. Ugh, this is really difficult because I know that this is not good anymore. This is Crush. Can you remember what a big thing this was, Revlon Crush? I'm gonna swatch it just for the hell of it. I loved this so much. I may have to go and buy it again if this is even still a thing, but I loved it and I'm gonna have to get rid of it because it starts smelling really off almost immediately. So it's definitely good 
to go now. Um, this is really too dark for me. This one is uh, Fierce. This again, honey, the ones that the lip balmy kind of ones, the tints, the balm stains, uh, these ones definitely didn't last as long for me as these ones. Oh, I love them all so much. Um, I'm gonna say this one is not for me. This one is Standout, which in theory I should love, but it's not my Standout. This is Fiery, let's just watch that. Um, no, I'm gonna get rid of that one, it's a little bit too brown. Let's try this one, this is Sultry. Ooh, we're kind of getting into that kind of Kylie Jenner lip colour realm. I'm going to keep that there for a second. This one is enchanting. I think this is way too pale for me. Why have I held on to this for so long? No idea. That's going. This one is elusive. A little bit too pink for me. Striking. I don't like the texture of that one. I don't know if it's changed, but I don't like it. Uh, showy. I know I just got rid of one of these saying that this kind of orchid colour is not me, but I do remember that I was wearing this when I went to the Cosmo Blog Awards and I won my award, so I'm going to keep it for that crazy reason. And also maybe, maybe I'll wear it. I liked it when I was blonde. I'm going to keep that one. This one has to be unapologetic. Right, I'm going to put that one up here. My all-time favourite. This is definitely going to stay. A perfect mix of kind of coral, red and pink. Love. And this one is, oh, did we already, already do sultry? Okay. Oh, I feel like we did really well with those ones. Would you not agree? A plus. These were something that I was obsessed with for quite a while. And I know that I've got rid of some that I didn't love quite so much. So we'll see whether or not I feel like I can get rid of any more. I know that they were a bit of a hit miss thing. For a while I was collecting them really, really rapidly and eventually realized that they're not all as good as some of them are. So these are the most recent ones. These are the vinyl and these are just the original, what are they called? Um, mm, 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 I don't know, this one's called vinyl lip cream, I think. Yeah, so I don't really know what these were ever, were they called just the YSL glossy stains? I don't know, but I was obsessed. So. If we could get this down to four, I'll be happy. So let's swatch the first, the more recent ones, because I feel like I'm probably going to keep these ones. So that is 409 and 407. I remember so vividly, desperately hunting for 07, and I just had it in my mind, it's 007. Like, like James Bond, it's 07. Whenever I go to a counter, remember James Bond, and eventually I found it. Um, and I think they're just too, kind of a little bit glossy for me, because I've been so into matte lip products but i'm gonna keep those ones because they are the newest ones and then i'm gonna swatch these this is gonna be way easier than i thought so this one is um is it 102 it says 62k 102 but the rest of them have extra numbers so i'm not entirely sure the next one is 15 so that one's 15 oh um that one's 102 i really don't know what the red one is called because there's no extra information on there and then the last one is 39. So I'm gonna get rid of the pink one and the purpley one. So that's 39 and 15. Those ones are gonna find new homes. So in the next video, we're gonna talk about all of this. I've got some more Mac, I've got some Bobbi Brown that's brand new. I've got so many lip liners. I mean, seriously, let's talk about lip liners, shall we? Um, that is gonna be the next one. I don't think we could have fit this in a, a watchable length video. So like I said, it was a lot. Um, hopefully next time I am gonna be able to just do everything. Number one, I just was pushed for time today. I wasn't gonna be able to get everything filmed because I was filming in the living room and kind of holding everything up. Um, but yeah, it was just gonna be too much. So fingers crossed you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because that's what people are doing now. If you haven't, please subscribe. Um, and if you have been unsubscribed because apparently that's happening a lot, then please, obviously subscribe but check out my channel occasionally to see if there's anything that you're missing but thanks for watching this one and i will see you guys in my next one bye